basis of all price action. All right, we're going to be teaching you how to correctly read candlesticks. So we understand that so many people don't really understand what candlesticks really represent or the information that they actually do convey. So today, I and Shams will be demystifying all the secrets regarding candlesticks. So I, I believe Shams is on the call right now. So Shams, do you want to say hello to the people? Hello, 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 guys. How are you guys doing? Amazing. Shams, how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Compliment of the season. You're looking nice. Thank you very much, Shams. As well as you too. You look really good too. You're welcome. All right. So whilst we are thank on you, that, let's kind of drop the location where you guys are joining in from. So these locations, as many that we can see, we are going to be onboarding some of them on our screen. So let me know where you guys are joining in from. For me, we are right now at Fire Peep Studio in Lagos, Nigeria, Lekki. Let me know where you guys are joining in from. So I'll only be able to be, I'll be calling out some that I can actually see right here on the screen. Okay. So I, in today's live session, I'm just going to be straight to the point. I'm going to be sharing the screen. Uh, but meanwhile, before then, let me show some, let me share some. Shams, can you tell us how many people you can see uh, from different countries on your end? Shams? I can hear you. I can hear you, but I'm not on board. Oh, you can't see it? Yeah, I can see it now. I can see Sokoto, Uganda, Akwaibom, Nasarawa, Poli. Um, I can see Kwara, Inugu. I can see Cyprus. Also from my hand, I can also from my end, I can see Cyprus. I see United Kingdom. I see uh, Emmanuel from Lagos. I see Kano Onisha, Cyprus, Newman from Port Harcourt, Liberia, Suleja, Enugu. It's a lot of people. So everyone is well represented. Thank you, guys. Uh, please kindly give me the screen. Can you give us the screen? Let's begin with our presentation. So me and Shams will be going hand in hand on the presentation thing. So welcome to Fire Peep. So today, the point is just going to be direct. I just want to teach you guys how to read candlestick pattern in 2024. We understand that in 2024, the price would always come to a point of equilibrium. Sorry, in 2023, we noticed that price always come to a point of equilibrium. So that's why it's important we teach price. How do you read this candlestick? So in order for you to better read the bigger picture of everything, we want to start by how, what information does one candle even convey. So how to read candlesticks pattern in 2024. Good. So the next one is to make it simple, candlestick is a way of communicating about how market price is moving. What does it tell you? What is the opening price? What is the closing price? What is the what is the highest price? What is the lowest price that's ever got into? And why does it get to those point to those points? All right. So this next part is the basic features of candlesticks. So if you see a candlestick part, a Japanese candlestick, what are the features? What are, how do you know that okay, this is actually a candlestick? That's what this part that, uh, is talking about. Number one, it has a body. The body represents the open to close range, and it has the weak. Weak sometimes is also called shadow. So they are used interchangeably. You can say the shadow. Shadow means the weak. It's just interchangeably. That indicates the highest point or the lowest point. And then we have the color. So these times you can actually change the colors to, you can make the bullish candle to be a green color and make the red candle to be a bearish color. Some people can make it blue to be bullish, anything at all. Of, of recent, I even saw a lady who, who, who tweaked hers to be, to be, to be pink and, and, and yellow. So with this our new terminal, you can actually play around with any color. So that's why you don't have to be deciding whether a bullish candle is, is a blue candle, or it's a green candle, or a bearish candle is a red candle. So you get to know by the explanation I'm going to give to you now. You get to know bullish candle based on their opening price and their closing price. I'm going to also tell you some other things whilst we progress. So note that the color itself does not matter. Traders have the flexibility to change it to the preference. However, as a beginner, it's advisable to concentrate on the standard default green and red colors. So now, this is a graphical representation of what we mean by candlesticks. All right. So please uh, give me the candlestick here at the back. Okay. Graphical representation, you'd notice that first, this is a green candle. So by default, this represents that it is a bullish candle at this bottom. 
So this is a bullish candle at the bottom. We are treating this one first. All right. So when the market opened, it opened below. For it to be a bullish simply means whilst opening, they immediately price pushed the market forces push it all the way to this extent, the highest point. All right. So before the market could close, and at, at even some point, it also did come here first, which is the lowest point. So buyer strength kicks in, push price up all to this extent, and sellers were able to push it up to this extent before the market closed. So time frame, when the market closed, depend on time frame. So if we're on M15, it means that this candle took 15 minutes to open and then from all this activity, come down, go up, it took 15 minutes. If you are on H1, it will also mean that all of this action also happened within an hour. So here's one information I would like you to know, which is very key into this class. One very key component of this. Anytime price open up, all right, we have forces pushing it, either buy force or sell force. All right. So price was able to, the buyers were first, the sellers pushed it down. That's why we have this week. Now think of week or shadow. Remember, we call this thing shadow. Think of week or shadow this way as imagine I pick a brand new candlesticks, a candlestick, a real candle, rather, a real candle with the with the tread in it and uh, with the wax surrounding it. It's a brand new. And then I take a knife or a razor and I and, and I start chopping it off without cutting the tread inside. So if I'm to chop it off the bottom and chop the chop half of the bottom and chop half of the top, and I drop this candlestick. And then someone who wasn't there come to pick up that candle. What, what, what information would that person have in his or her mind? The information would be, okay, this candle was once this long, as much as this thread was long, then maybe this person chopped it off. That is just a representation of what candlesticks are. So Japanese candlesticks is one of the best way to trade. In fact, it's the best graphical representation. This has been on for years amongst the Japan. The Americans didn't even know it. The Europeans never really knew it. So when it started getting introduced to the European markets and to the Americans, it made a huge difference. Before now, we, everyone used to, used to deal with the line chart. The line chart, that one doesn't really have so much information. But with this Japanese candlestick pattern, it tells you where the candle opens, it tells you where the highest it has ever gotten to, it tells you the lowest, it gives you a lot more information. With this type of candlestick representation, you get to understand in the long run who is actually leading. You don't just get to have a dot a, a line maybe where a market start like this then and you put a next dot and you connect it together that line chart is being formed then the market closes you put a dot in the closing price and you connect it together market closes put that's how the this one only gets to tell you the closing detail but with the candlestick pattern with this japanese candlestick pattern it gets to tell you information that happened even whilst you were away or i mean if you even be away for like years decades and all of that so that's why it's really so important so to determine a bullish candle is the depending on the opening and the closing price. A bullish candle is when the open is lower than the close. That is, you open low and the close high. That's how to know. That's the definition of a bullish candle. On the other hand, the bearish candle is when it's open at the top, the opening is higher than the closing price. All right. So it opens high and then the close goes. Just like price is moving from up down. This is bearish. So it's it's time to be bullish when we have opening down and then closing at the top. So these are the two type of graphical. I hope this makes sense. So all of this long chart that you see on our trading view, don't be confused or don't be deceived. Everything revolves around this information. Sometimes you can see them in two. Sometimes you can see them in three pairs. I'm going to be talking about that in no time. All right. I hope this makes sense. Then the next slide. We have different types of candlestick patterns. We have single candlesticks, we have double candlestick pattern, and we also do have triple candlestick pattern. I know I've taught some of these things in my previous YouTube video where I talk about three candlestick pattern that you can never go wrong with. So I'll just reiterate a little bit of that and I'll be referring you back to that video. Just check that three ultimate candlestick guide. That will break everything down for you. So we have single candlestick. These are individual candlestick formation that passes information about market sentiment. Let me just show you the graphical representation. So in single candlestick, we have the doji candle. Doji candles are candles that do not really have, they don't have real body. They only just have shadow, which is weak. Maybe 
it shows that there's weakness in this or it shows indecision or what it shows indecision in the long run so anytime you see a doji a candle that doesn't a candlestick that doesn't really have real body just that it's showing indecision it's neither going up nor coming down the buyers and sellers they are indecisive as to where to push the market to so this is for the bullish one all of them are going to have in bullish and then this is for the bearish doji all right so although they have name doji we have butterfly doji and gravestone doji if it's a bearish one it's called gravestone and then the butterfly one is the is the bullish pattern all right then we also do have hammer with this one already you can see that it looks like an actual hammer whereby market did open right here at the bottom and their buyers were able to push it first seller pushed it straight to the downside then buyers came with a huge momentum from this downside they pushed it back straight up again and then market was able to close here which is looking like a letter t or like a hammer that you see so this one is another kind of candlestick pattern so anytime you see this all right it signals that the buyers are now in charge usually you see a a hammer a, a bullish hammer at the bottom of the preceding trend for example i'm going to give you an example of where to see all of these things example so let me even go and start showing you an example on the chart right now let's go ahead and start showing you an example on the chart so i'll go on gbpsd i want to show you an example of of a dodgy show you an example of a hammer and also show you an example of a shooting star candlestick so um let me show you an example real quick so first a doji doji is where it doesn't really have real body at all there's no body it's just the weeks that that, that shame more for example this is a doji this is a doji there's no actual body all right anytime you see a doji like this all right in fact let me do a replay for you guys anytime you see a doji like that in in an uptrend be careful a down move is imminent so let me show you a replay of what would happen so let's say for example we're in this market condition this is a trade i call don't worry i'll take this one out but let me look for a new chart i don't want to mess up this one let me look for gbp usd with another broker let me do the one with uh eight cap uh i don't want us to mess i want to talk about that trade i called last week all right this is taking time to load all right so let me head back okay good yeah, yeah. now so this is a dodgy like i said earlier this is a dodgy so i'm gonna do the replay good so anytime you see a dodgy like that case then be careful there's an indecision but if you find this in a preceding uptrend first before you can make decision regarding that you have to first see it in the preceding uptrend if you sit at the top of the trend like we saw it here at the top of the trend then be careful there's an buyers are getting tired and just like seller no one be for buyers Everybody is saying we'll stuck here. We are we are stuck here at this price. Oh, I don't know now. This this message is popped up in here. Everybody's stuck at one particular price. Anytime you see something like this, so be careful. Most of the time, if you find it in a point of in a strong zone like support, like this point, one point two C one point two seven hundred, be careful. The sell price, sell will imminent will actually happen. You see, from there, indecision happens, price are coming down. Start coming down, start coming down, start dropping. So that's one of the effects of a doji. That's one of the effects of a doji. So this is for the sell example. There's also the one for a buy example. So you can just go ahead and keep checking it. Remember, I also told you the one of um, there's there's also a hammer, right? So this is an example. This is a very clear example of hammer. The hammer is here. You can just go around and be checking your charts. Is a clear example of a hammer having a hammer anytime you have a hammer a bearish hammer 
on on if if you have a bearish hammer on a resistance or a bullish hammer on a support then know that a price is about to start going up this one you're not going to count it because we want we want it to be at the bottom in a preceding downtrend and it has to be a bullish candle here not a bearish one let me look for example that perfectly explain this type that i'm talking about so remember when we come back here um okay yeah yeah we want the one that have a bullish body but have an exertion to the downside so let's put that and then we have to find that at the bottom of a trend the bottom of a trend okay it might take a little bit while to find something like that let me know that how many i'm finding i'm looking for okay hammer so if you see it first let me know okay yes this is, this is a good example of hammer or they have like you have a little extension to the upside let me zoom in you have a little extension to the upside but this is a very good example of a of a hammer so when you find it at the bottom first you notice where i'm finding them i'm finding it first in the preceding downtrend there's a, an up move and it started coming down so anytime you find it here it signals that price is going to go up that is what you are seeing right here how to trade it is you want to put your stop loss forecast to anytime you see anytime you see a hammer right you want to wait for another candle confirmation so this is a candle and another bullish candle confirmation so for example this is another bullish candle confirmation upon the close of that you get in for a for a buy then you want to move your stop loss down a bit you want to move your stop loss a little bit below the low that the hammer has created and you want to target times two so if your stop loss is 39 pips you want to target 39 times two that's 40 that's 80 let's just say 80 pips there are about 80 pips 80 pips oh it keeps going up let me shrink here 80 pips 80 pips my god 80 pips will be somewhere around yeah 79 you always give you times two but then this is going to take a whole long time okay it's on, we're only one half chart so it's going to take a whole long time but you guys see how your stop loss did not get taken out something like that this is how it works so now let's head back to our presentation so i've been able to show you dodgy candle i've been able to show you hammer oh shooting star shooting star you're also going to be finding for this one you find it in a down training market right the other one too, you also find in an up training market so you can just go ahead shooting star is very common i know there are most traders here that's their major confirmation source before they take any trade they want to make sure they see a shooting star at the top of of the chart before the shot or they want to see a shooting star at the bottom of the chart before they go long there's a lot of example on shooting star by the way let me just quickly look for one asap let me look for one of a shooting star shooting star this would this would not pass because i want a very long week i only want to see that's a very long week okay one with a long week so today yeah look at one here this is a shooting star right here you have so it's usually very common you shouldn't take me so much this, this is one that's a shooting star an example of a shooting star all right even this example too can also pass for a uh, for 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 a morning star because we have one candle right here we have this bigger shooting star we have this big bearish one now when we get there you'll be like you get what i'm saying there's what we call morning star too that's the three type of three candlesticks so these are the single ones that we have then let's go to double in the double we have engulfing patterns we have tweezer bottoms and tweezer tops engulfings are two set of candles that get to tell you more information as to why the price would likely move to a certain direction so a bullish engulfing candle you get to find this on the bottom of a chart anytime you find bullish engulfing at the bottom of a chart, that signals that there's going to be a bullish action happening soon all right opposite of that is bearish engulfing if you, you find this at the top of a chart in a preceding uptrend in a preceding in a preceding uptrend like for example like this price start moving up then when you get here you see a bearish engulfing engulfing you want to be careful here because you want to wait 
if you see a bench engulfing like if you see this pattern here at this top be careful then the next candle that's going to come wait for another candle to confirm another bearish candle to confirm it from there you go in for shorts when we mean short we also mean sell going for sell and then you put your stop loss above this recent high all right that's how to trade it we can go on the chart again and we'll look for it like that so we have the tweezer bottom we have the tweezer tops the same thing you find tweezer bottom at the bottom of the chart anytime you find a pattern like this just like saying you are looking for two hammer at the bottom of the chart so in that case it's called tweezer bottom you find that that's more confidences for you to go long so you have to always find it at the bottom of a of a support all right then then this one you find it at the top of a of a resistance all right so you can just do more of your back testing in all this and that i'm telling you so let's head straight to the third one. i don't want to take so much time because i know there are so more many other questions that will be taking soon so another one of triple candlestick pattern is the morning star so i made mention of morning star a while ago so i said that example could fly for morning star so morning star is the bullish pattern why evening star is the bearish pattern so if you find it at the top of the chart it's called an evening star so actually the one that we saw earlier was an evening star if you find it at the bottom of the chart it's called a morning star so their names are good it's important you memorize them but then what is the most important is understanding the psychology as to how to trade it that is the key component of this thing understand psychology behind it what is it telling you as at that particular time so here's an example of an evening. I'll just do one one example for you because I don't want us to waste too much time because all these candlesticks that I'm showing you here now, they are present. So let me go example. Since I already saw an evening star, let me just quickly use that as an example for you. So come on, evening star. I saw, yeah, here's a pattern. So the psychology behind an evening star is it is fine, it is found at the top of a preceding uptrend. All right. Once the market open first, this is the this is the behavioral approach to it. Price did open really well. It opened bullish. Price went up. Good. At first, from here, price closed at this place, and then we have a gap down. Market opened here. It opened. It formed a low. So this is a low. And then price went straight up. It went to this high. Then sellers pushed it down a little bit, and then we had a close at this point. It closed at this point. So that shows that there is strength. Strength. If you were here, you would notice, okay, there is strength in the market. Okay, good. Then the next thing is, since it closed here, the next one, the next candle popped up, came down a bit, it formed a low, went straight up to this point. Then seller pushed it down more than 50% of the whole effort that the buyers used to push it up. So this, if you check the week, the week actually did is longer than the real body. It's longer than this whole body. So that shows that though buyers were in the market a while ago, they pushed it up. Sellers are now present. That's why they were able to push over par the buyer's strength at that particular time. So all these candlesticks, they are telling you all of that. They are telling you information. So that you have to learn to read it. So now, once you see that it has pushed more than a 50% of the body or the whole effort that the buyers pushed up, then be careful. Then the seller's presence in the market. Not just that. The third candle is going to come with a bullish, aggressive, movement so immediately this sell candle comes it took out the whole of this effort that the buyers used to push things up so what this tells you here at this point is that sellers now are now involved though we are coming from an uptrend market was still going up now anytime you see an evening star at the top just be careful all right here now market will start dropping what you need to do wait for another candle another bearish candle to confirm it can be a tiny one like this one it can even be bigger but wait once it closes take your shot don't even compromise just take your shot here um i'm gonna take good you put your your stop loss on the risk on the high so in this case, I think the stop loss level is uh, how many pips? This is 48 pips stop loss. Target times two. So let's just say that's 100 pips. All right, 100 pips. 100. It always gives to you. It depends on the timing. 
because we are doing this on one hour time frame, so somebody would ask me, uh, Mr. Jeff, what time frame would this work? It works on all time frame. This is basic candlestick uh, trading pattern, I'm telling you. It works on all time frame. So 100 pips, it will give you one to two. What I'm doing here is if I'm risking one dot again, two dollars. That's 50 pips plus catch times 200 pips. That's what we are currently doing here. So anytime you see all of this pattern, this is how to trade. You have to wait for a confirmation candle. You, you get in there, put your stop loss on the recent high, a little bit above the recent high, so you don't get weak out and then move in a direction. And then you target time to, times two. So I want you guys to revert to this video. Check this other video that I made on the YouTube channel. Uh, there, you guys can get to understand the three candlestick pattern that I love to trade a lot. So it is what you have noticed. Once this is loading, what you have noticed, candlestick trading shouldn't be left alone as it as 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 confirmation. Okay. I think I, I can hear you now. Oh, Shams is out. Sorry. He's out. So let's take some questions on the Zoom. So let's unmute. If you have any question on Zoom, please kindly do let me know. Do let me know if you have any question regarding this kind of class that we just had. And if you have anything, what about on YouTube? Is there a question on YouTube? Sorry? Okay, please kindly unmute. The one on Zoom, kindly unmute him. Raise less, let, let them speak. By in orderly manner. First to, first to raise hand. On Zoom. Okay, go on. Let me see them on the screen here too. Okay. 
Peter, can you say yeah, something? Good afternoon, Bessie. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sir Bessie. Good afternoon. Yeah, can I hear you clearly? Can you hear me? Clearly, I can hear you. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, you look sharp on your outfit this morning. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Oh, can I see him on, on the screen? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, um, what I have observed, I just want to let you comment on it. I will take a trade. Uh, I will put my uh, I place my risk management. Then I will be working the, uh, the trade. So somebody to be going against me because of the fear that I don't want to get to that uh, daily drawdown, maximum of six percent daily drawdown. I will exit the market by myself. Immediately I exit the market, it now begin to go in my favor. Uh, because of this, I have lost so many in a top frame account. So how do I have this sort of situation? Okay, and everybody were negating his analysis deep out really well because they were negating it he had already hopped out of the account i mean of the trade that he was in so you have to actually traces are not wrong you have to stand your ground actually correct make sure you trade your what you see so if you are correcting it you won't be coming to seek their opinion or you wouldn't even be you won't, you won't care about what they think actually show sure what you do so it's more about you trading the mind game so you have to be sure of what you're actually in on you know the reason why you think it's going to go short or it's going to go long at that particular time so you have to make sure you trade whatsoever you see. Always trade what you see. That is the mantra. Trade what you see. And stop listening to what other people. It, it's even better you trade what you see and lose. Do you understand? It is better you trade what you see and lose. Yeah. And then you can form an opinion why you lose there. You know the reason why you lose and you take 100% responsibility. Now imagine you are losing because other people, other, other people's opinion just made you to lose. That's not a nice thing. All right? So now that is now letting me to know you have to go and reinforce your trading plan. You know, the template I gave you for your trading plan, please kindly take that seriously this time. Around. Go to your trading plan. Do not listen to anybody. Under session, New Year session, do what I told you to do. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Nice to have you, Mr. Peter. All right. So let's take the next person. Who's on, who's else's hand is raised now? Emmanuel, please let's have Emmanuel on the screen. I like to put him on the screen. Good morning, good morning, sir. Jeff. Yeah, good morning. How's it going? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, I want to say I appreciate all the work you have been doing on this one. I've actually improved in my trading with respect to last year. Okay. How long have you been with us? Come, come away. Pardon? How long have you been with us in mentorship? Uh, this is my second month. This is my second month. Amazing. Let's and some few days. Let's see what you have now. Let's see what you have. Okay. Now. Okay. So my question is on risk management with respect to a video I watched on the back office on uh, Wednesday, the 16th on February 2022. Okay. So you made mention of us risking 1% of our account, for example. So upon risking one upon risking one percent, I think when we risk one percent, you said so the trade actually goes in our favor. So we start actually adding more position. So I don't know if we actually enter the entire one percent, then when the trade goes in our favor before we start adding other positions or we wait or we, we actually big chunks of this one percent as the trade goes in our favor. Can you turn your camera? If you want to ask questions, on board, on meeting the next person, let the person turn on their camera so we can see the person. Okay, okay, let me turn on my. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, talking about we are talking about risk management. The question is, if yes. you should risk one percent of the account, and then while the trade is going to your favor, you get to double down. Is that what you're asking? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, I would do risk management. First, you have to make sure 
that you have your position size calculator. Give me this screen. Give me this one. Okay. So, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's loaded up now. Let me just quickly show you guys the video. I want you guys to go watch. That will give you this. Thing. Yeah, this video. This one. This is the video I'm talking about. The three ultimate candlestick pattern. All you need to know. This video. This is what I want you guys to go watch. This one. I gave you everything yes. that you need to know in this video. All right. Where's the video? So let's go to the question that he asked. So you have to make sure you come to this fire fs.com position size calculator okay. that we have. So how to navigate that is free to use and assess. All right, you just come on here, click on it, and then you can yeah. have access to this place to do your position size calculator. Okay, okay. okay. You need to learn by two. Please kindly can you reduce the volume on, on, on the end. Thank you. So check. The account balance you want to put there. How much account balance did you have whilst you were trading? How much account balance? How much? Five thousand dollars. It's a five thousand dollars per firm account. Okay, five thousand dollars per. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to put your five thousand dollars here. So first. If it's a dollar account, so you change it to dollar account. If it's a Naira account, just tap here. Choose Naira, choose dollar, choose pound, choose South Africa, and any one of them. So this is a five thousand dollars account. Just want to choose here. Okay. Oh. Alright, so it's five thousand dollars. You said. Yes, Hello? Yeah, I'm That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay. So I'm account with 23 stop loss and risky one percent as we said and it's five thousand dollars account this is an amount of money that you have at least fifty dollars yes. why this is important is so that you know where you are here fifty dollars you know what you start to risk at the end of the day so in order for you to get this loss amount at least you have to meet your new 7.25 blood size or anti or anti all right so yes. now we go into right but the work we are now telling you, in order for you not to risk so much, don't just go and empty for and do 0.25. We want you to split this risk 
into five places and then you go in one at a time. Oh, uh, so please, the voice is also audible for me, and I think they are never to solve me a problem. The, the, I mean the voice, I mean the voice, I can't really get it, it's breaking, sorry. How about now, can you guys hear me clearly? Can, can, you, get, can you get the people on, on YouTube to check? Let's, let's... Yes, now it's good, now it's good. You can hear me clearly, right? Yes, yes, it's good now. Can you hear me? Okay. Thank you. So what I'm saying is, I assume that you have 20 people stop loss on this your trade, on the 5k account. Yeah, I'm one yes, account. that's what I use. <laughs> so, that would be me if... That trade goes against you since it's 20 feet. You'll be losing $50, correct? Are we on the same page? Yes, sir. I'm good. Thank you. And then, in order for you to achieve that $50 loss when you go against you, because we are talking about risk management. So, in risk management, we are more focused yes. on how much do I start to lose. So, that we're, that, that we're going to talk yes. more about losses. That makes sense. So, if this trade yes, goes against sir. you, you need to use 0 0.25. And that 0 0.25 needs to go against you 20 pips. So that you will be able to lose fifty dollars. So, but now we're not saying don't go in with zero point two five, so that when you go okay. to if you are losing fifty dollars, instead split it by five. That is just a simple mathematics. Okay. So, if you split it by five, that will be it's zero point zero what five, correct? Yes, sir. So you are going to go in on this trade with zero point zero five. Do you know the effect of that? Do you know the importance and why? Say, for example, uh, you are in on this trade now. Where's my charts? Okay, here. Good. Let's say, for example, you are in on this buy trade. Let me zoom it in. And you started buying at this point. Play. Just in that, I'm not going to do analysis. I'm just trying to tell you how you may likely... Good. So let's say this is the current market condition. This is where we are right now in the market. So you go, you went in with 0 0.05 first. Thinking that, oh, this is an up move. I'm very sure of this market. I've seen this before. You've done your analysis and you're so sure. And then you first go in with 0 0.05. All right? So this is you buying with 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 would mean in terms of units, would mean that you are using 25,000, right? So just change this on to 25,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to drop it down. No, this is too much. One, two. Yeah, this would mean that you are buying with 25,000. Now, if you just go, this 25,000 simply means you are buying with 0 0.25. You are exhausting all your money. And then you put your stop loss on 20 pips away. So what are the chances of you hitting your stop loss very high easily with 20 pips? Because 20 pips is so tight. I don't know why this, this replaced of the network is out again. The network is out again. Like, this is not lying most of Uh, let me try to connect to. Give me the iPhone. My, my iPhone. Give me the iPhone. Not this one. The other one. Let's be fast. Um, okay. Connect. Then connecting to this one will be a lot more stable. Can't connect. Man, all the network in Nigeria literally refuse to work today. Always. So let me turn it off. Turn it on. Shams, are you there? Shams, are you there now? Oh, Shams is out again. All right, so let's do this example again. Let's say we bought with 0 0.25. So 25,000 units simply means you're using 0 0.25, all right? So if you're not in the last class, you might not understand this topic. So revert to the next live session to be able to understand this topic. 
revert to the net last live session, last one, to be able to understand what loss size is. We explain what contractual loss size and the units and everything. So it's clear. I know all my students, they understand what this one is. All right? So now, back to you, Mr. Emmanuel. Are you there? Are you there, Emmanuel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm there. I'm there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Sound good. So if we just go ahead and use 0 0.25, that means he did 20 pips. In fact, let me even put our long and short function now. Let's say we are buying already because we saw we are buying already because we have done an analysis for some reason. We think he's going to buy. You don't want to be like some trader that don't really understand. They don't know. They don't know how to factor in risk that might come. And it's small drawdown. They're already shouting. When I see somebody shouting the small drawdown, I'm like, are you, are you even ready to become a trader? <laughs> Do you know what it is? <laughs> All right, so look at it. So immediately, this is 20 pips stop loss now that we're in. Let's play. So if I go in, that means by price coming to this point, by that time, you would have been down almost your stop loss. And you intend to lose 50, 50 dollars by that time by market coming there you have already been negative about 45 dollars as a matter of fact there's already fine most times so what will what will we do as human as a human being you are scared you want to exit the market immediately you are jumping out so why not reduce your headache and use dollar cost averaging system which is what i taught you guys simple the concept of dollar cost averaging system is simple it's saying that instead of using 0.25 all at once, then do the math, do permutation. All right, you split it into three, and then you get to go in small, small, in smaller piece by piece. So, for example, let's say let's repeat the same example again. Market came in here, yeah. I go in with 0 0.5 directly. I'm just going with 0 0.5 here from here. I don't go in with 0 0.25, I'll split it to five. I'll go with 0 0.05 rather. If it keeps coming down. If you get here, I feel, oh, I think I should add more position. I enter again 0 0.05. Even if the next candle comes, right? Again, because it made the low, everything still forms the same stop loss point. I'm not wrong until my stop loss gets invalidated. All right? So I'll go in again with 0 0.05. Uh, where's my annotation? I still go in again with 0 0.05. This is the concept of, flip, of, of stacking. And flipping that you see everywhere. Oh, that ta, 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 ta. this is the concept. 0 0.05. If you keep going up again, 0 0.05. Remember, I have 0 0.05. Until I max out my five entries, all of them, all, all of this trade, they still maintain the same stop loss. All of them. They maintain 1.26833. So what is helping me to do is when I'm making profits, I get to make more profits. But if I'm losing, if he had just gone directly to hit my stop loss, that would have meant my 0 0.05. My 0 0.05, 0 point, in two places, would have actually hit stop loss. Thereby, I'm not losing as much as $50 I would have lost using 0 0.25. It makes me to lose linearly, and then I get to make profit exponentially. You get. So now, let's keep playing. If we play it to the upside, then you remember that the trade went in, in, in our favor. So the one, it's not done. The entries I have at the bottom, this one would have been in profit. This one, this is 0 0.05. This would have been in profit. The one I had here, profit. The one I had here, profit. But this one, I, the first one I had earlier, might still be in, in a little bit of loss. Okay, well, now since price is now here, it will have been in profit too. You see, but if I had, had an entry here with 0 0.05, let's say for example, for some reason I had bad entry. Let me just make that excuse. I had bad entry. This one have been small loss. But the profit that at the bottom would have actually taken care of this one. You understand? That's just the concept. I hope it makes sense. So now the question, hope your question is answered, Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel, is he answered? Is he still there? Can you unmute him if he's still there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for the terms. Amazing. Let's take, let's be far. Let's take some more other questions. Let's take some more other questions regarding currency. And just do today's analysis and then I'll call it a day. Oh, let's go. Take, or mute the next person, the other guy that like violence, that violence guy. The violence, this one. This one. <laughs> okay, God's will. Go ahead. Is his is camera turned on? Okay, 
for anybody who's, who's asking questions and whose camera is turned on and is willing to ask questions. Let's go, let's go. Please kindly keep it within the ambit of the topic that we are treating. We are treating candlestick today. <clears throat> All right, yes, sir. let's go. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon my sir. time. You're looking so good. Thank you very much. Sir, you're looking so good. Thank you for the explanation. Yeah, you look. Yes, sir. Hey, I wish I could so, say this, um... but you're not wearing shirts. Why? Um... <laughs> sir, the place is hot too. Ha, the place is hot. Yeah. But you look uh, no problem, no problem. You still look so, good. fine, boy. Just continue, continue. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Even myself, I've been I've been lost in on profem do I've been I've been you been losing been, like okay. last okay. month have I purchased yes, I've yeah. been losing consistency like small small win big loss so that has been a very um, okay. hard journey um, so but I'm thanking God that I'm in your classes so I'm getting more more experience so um, your exit plans in this your um, entry like your ed, uh, your exit uh, criteria. Using so what's my entry criteria? <clears throat> yes, yes, you're entering an exit on your aesthetic. Wow. Well, no, 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 on GB, GU on this particular entry. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is just an example. I'm teaching risk management. I'm not getting this. Is not an entry for you. Okay. It's not. Oh, let me remove this in fast. I'm always careful to come live. Anything I put short and long, people just want to buy. They just want to buy. And that's not the case. This is just an example. I cited this example to explain to uh, the, uh, Emmanuel how uh, dollar cost averaging work. It's, it's not a life market. This is, we are doing a replay. See, it's not a life market. It's a replay. You get? Okay. It's not sir. life. Okay, sir. I'm not in the trade. Thank you very much, sir. Do you understand now? Ah, uh, sir. Uh yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, I understand, sir. Okay. So, ah, uh, homo. So I would like to uh, be a one of your your boy. At least I helping you to do some things in the studio there. Let me ask you a question. Understand. Are you ready? I'm very ready, sir. Uh, how how long have you been in mentorship? Um, two months now. So on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your knowledge? So at least um, I can say sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five. 65 yeah, because, would mean that yes, you've traded and you've lost accounts and you have also made profits. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sixty-five would mean that you yes, know sir. how to execute. You know when to buy. You know when to sell. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sixty-five also mean that you have made more than two thousand dollars from this market. Correct? No, 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 no. How much was the highest amount you ever made? Uh, um, three hundred. Only three hundred dollars. With how much? Three hundred. Uh, with uh, fifty. Oh, with fifty dollars. Wow, that's that's massive. Say that's massive. <laughs> that's massive. <laughs> oh, that's yes, nice. Sir. Good. Okay. You, okay. Good. Then they are in the good part. If you can make three hundred, you can make three thousand. You can make thirty thousand. You can make three hundred thousand. You can make three million. It's just with time, all right? Okay. Right, well, I, I, still, I still need it. Um, you definitely will improve. I'm definitely sure. Yeah. You're just two months in, and you're already making this massive yeah. profit. Congrats. All right. Thank you. Let's take well, it. I've been, I've been, I've been trading. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been you trading been for, for over a year now. I've been trading for yeah, over a year now. You understand? Yeah. But since when I joined your mentorship, it was it has been just two months. Yeah. Oh, but you've been trading before. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice to have you. Please attend classes and make sure you ask questions and check the back okay. office with the recordings and ask questions in the group. You understand? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you for having thank, thank you, very you for, much, for coming in. Thank you, sir. Yes, let's have the next person whose video is on. I think this guy's video is on. I've, I've been seeing him here. This guy, uh, check UD. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, UD. How's it going? Um, like, it's not on shit, too. It's very fun. 
online classes. My problem with online classes, you can be on pajamas and, and a suit jacket and be faking that suit. Uh, good afternoon. And um, last last Friday, I passed my FTMO challenge in Wow. So I, yeah, I have this case, um, challenge. Yeah. Amazing. So what was the profit I gave to you? And uh, and that problem. Okay. I'm I'm only trading on this, this um GPB USD and the good. But I'm having challenge now on which one should I choose to focus on? Not. Okay, now let's do an experiment. If you go to your history or your MT4, or MT5 right now, which one make you the most yeah. money? Good. Good? Yeah. Then stick to gold. You already understand gold. That's the meaning. Stick to gold. If gold gives you the most money, then stay with gold. But if you can manage, okay. GU, don't get me wrong. If you can manage GU and go together side by side, then you go ahead with them. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, if okay, you can manage sir. two of them, then go ahead with them. But I know you have more okay, people that submitted to me on Thanks. Friday that I reviewed on Friday, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Congratulations once again. Thanks. So how much account are you starting with when you're about to go when when you're about to do proper proper one now? Um I've already applied for twenty five thousand dollar accounts. How much? Twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. Okay, okay, nice. Congrats in advance. Thanks. I know you definitely will hit it hard. I'm very confident about that. All right, thank you. So let me take yeah. some questions from YouTube. Bring YouTube, give me YouTube. Let me take some questions from YouTube. Okay, so here on YouTube, someone is asking, hello, good day, I have a question. What is the right place to take a trade when you have two different uh, FVG? I think that's fair value gap that you're talking about. One above and under, so so I don't I don't use FVG. I don't use that. All right, so let's move to the next question. Um, what time frame? This is from Ogori Tarila. So what? Please, what time frame is best from confirmation before entry? As a day trader, I use fifteen minutes. If you're a swing trader, use one hour for your entry confirmation for your entry but me as a day trader I, I i dwell on 15 minutes all right so if you're a day trader do the exact same thing i'm doing how long will it take me to flip 50 dollars account to a 500 dollars account it depends on your trading knowledge that's very relative if you are a very good trader like me i can do that in two days or even like i do i do crazy hours depending but then is this sustainable way to grow no it's not so you have to know the two difference all right Okay. Uh, how can one join the mentorship? Don't worry, I'll talk about that later. How do you... What is my view on GBPUSD? Okay, good. That is the next phase we are going to now. Let's go ahead and let me take on GB, my view on GBPUSD now. Let me take my view on GBPUSD. This is from YouTube comments. Is it right to dollar cost average in drawdown or when trade is in profit? In drawdown, it's, it's right. You have your plan. As long as your stop loss is not invalidated, you still can dollar cost average even whilst you are in drawdown. As long as you have your, your loss limits in mind. Okay, talk to us about entry and exit. I'll talk about that next. Uh, how do you use... Um, how can I get one-to-one -one mentorship with you? Don't worry, I'll talk about that soon. Um, most questions here, mentorship, mentorship, mentorship. Okay. Let me go ahead and talk about entry and exit first. Let's start from that. Okay. So first, uh, give me the screen. Good. So what we currently have here now, let me go on my GBPS where I used to do my analysis, my playground. I come to GBPS by FXCM. Okay, good. I've already done my hand low of the week, which is these two red lines. So this is my, so let me show you all my analysis. Let me list out the things I'm, first, let me start from the, analysis of last people thought that that my analysis from last one that i gave on telegram actually hit stop loss i don't know for some reason it didn't so that's I'm, 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 I'm i was quite about it 
So I gave this stop loss for a reason. This stop loss that I gave is one point, I think, uh, one point, why is this? You know, 1.26901 here. 1.26901, right? This is what we have, 1.26901. See how price came back to the psychological level, 1.2700, and it went straight up, all right? So the reason why I'm targeting here is because I see a long-term movement from the four-hour time frame. Remember, I, okay, it was not here. I explained this on Wednesday live session when I was in the mentees, that with this pattern that I'm seeing here, like so, this pattern still represents it's moving like an erect angle, which is still break up. So that's what I'm anticipating at least. Worst case scenario, price should get here. So that way, you see, my take profit is somewhere around there. You see, and then my stop loss is on the recent low. This low that is here. Let me zoom. Let me take you to one hard time frame, and from there, go you travel here straight up. So you see, I already have my analysis that okay, anytime price gets to this low, I agree to be wrong. I agree to be wrong from here now. All right. So that's why I put my stop loss at the risk on that on that low. All right. Okay, I know price cannot if price get there, then I decide to I'm I'm wrong, right? So, but what is the worst that can what is the reward since I have my stop loss this big? All right, is that I want to cash out from here. So as far as I'm concerned, this week I'm gonna be doing more buys, 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 buys until I'm able to take out this on a smaller time frame on 15, not on this bigger one. I'll be able to take out this high. So even if we still take out this high, it's still bust it open. Just mark the word for this week. So now let's know. Let me not take you too far. Let me give you a particular trade now that you're going to be taking. If you are taking trade today, let me give you a trade that you should take that, that will make you money. But meanwhile, this trade is still valid. If I stretch it forward, it's making my chart look messy. So that's why I'm making it. I will shrink it. But just know that it's still valid. We are still heading straight to the upside, to the moon, to the moon. So now, how do you do analysis? How do you gain an entry? How do you get an exit? That's the question you ask. Exit is very important as well as entry. You have to understand these two things. First, let me talk about entry. In entry, you have to find at least three things that is telling you to get in before you actually get in. So for me, in this case, we have trend line, psychological level, and we have chart pattern. The chart pattern, which I just taught you right now. I know I taught you candlestick formation. In When they are a group, it's called chart pattern. It forms a pattern. That's why we have Ws, M, uh, head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder. Um, we have we have in continuation chart pattern. We have flag pattern. We have peanut. We have ascending triangle, descending triangle. We have a lot of them. But there are two I just want to make you to focus on, which is double bottom and double top, which is what we call M and W. They're just opposites, right? So now check. We have high and low of the week too. Let me not forget. How long of the week is this two line? How we got that is we go to the four hour time frame, the first two candles to form for the beginning of the week. We mark out the highest point of, of either of them and the lowest point of either of them. So that's how we're able to get these two lines. So you just go to four hour time frame. If you get to four hour time frame, the first two candles to form for the week is these two candles. Is this two? One, two. Is this one and two? Let me label them. This is the first candle to form for the week. This is the second candle to form for the week. We mark out the highest you ever got to. We mark out the lowest two of them ever got to. That's it. That's how we're able to get this two red line. That's clear, right? Clean. So if price break, if any candle, the body of the candle breaks above, then we're going to be doing more buys for the week. If this buy break above and sustains it, we're going to be doing more buys for the week. If it breaks below this line, this red line, we're going to be doing more sales for the week. So now you understand why I said I'm going to be doing more buys because price will actually sustain from my price prediction from candle uh, formation. That's just from experience. All right, check. So now, since we've already had a first bounce based on trend line, we've had bounce one, bounce two, bounce three. This three is supposed to take us very aggressive. So that's why I'm anticipating that we're gonna be having more of buys. Good. All right, so trend line has told us something. This is trend line. Anytime price bounce on trend line, that's one confirmation. Now, let's go on one hour time frame. We've been able to see four hour time frame to see the, the bigger picture, right? One, two. In fact, you see, this is even still the second, second bounce as far as I'm concerned. So we're it's still going aggressive. Buy. All right? So the next thing I want to look out for is anytime price touch on the trend line, entry. 
Anytime price touch on the trend line zone, all right, what other thing was there whilst it was touching? There was psychological level, which is 1.2700. All right? So this point is, an, is a hot spot zone. So you don't just get it. Now, you remember the candlestick pattern that we talked about a while ago, which is this one, candlestick pattern. What candlestick pattern is this? Please kindly comment in the comment. Let me know the people that are actually following me, whether some people are just, they're just playing around. What candlestick pattern is this and what does it mean? What candlestick pattern is this? Check on YouTube for me ASAP. I know my students on Zoom, they definitely will get it, but let me check people on YouTube. Give me YouTube. Let me check the replies on YouTube. Someone said Monista. Hey, someone said Monista. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody said Monista. Uh, okay, somebody said Dodgy. Someone said Evening Star. <laughs> someone said, okay, Dodgy, Dodgy, Dodgy. Oh, Dodgy, Bullish and Golfing. Whoa, I'm even showing you that there are three. Dragonfly Dodgy engulfed. Oh my God, no. No, you don't want to be disappointing me. I'm telling me that this is a dodgy. How did this see a dodgy now? I mean, this three, this three stuff. Thank you, Monistar. People that answered Monistar, a round of applause for you. That shows that you guys are really here. You guys are really here. But for those guys that are saying dodgy, if I catch you in the streets, bro, be running. <laughs> This is over dodgy. We are talking about three candlestick patterns. So we have first the bearish one, then we have a small dodgy, and then we have a bullish one. So that's obviously like that's obviously a morning star. If it's found at the top, for those that say evening star, if it's found at the top, then you would be correct. But it's at the bottom in a preceding downtrend. So come on. Uh when we meet downtrend now, we are talking about oh, okay. When we meet downtrend now, we're talking about this small one. It's also a downtrend, it's like a continuation. So this is a an evening star rather. Okay, so when you see an evening star, remember what I told you, wait for a candlestick to close to confirm it. So the candle that is confirming it for us is this one. This one that is confirming it. All right, this one confirming, what do you do? You go ahead, you put your buy, you buy here. Somebody's asking for entry again. This is entry. You buy here, you put your stop loss here, you target one to two. So if from year to year, the stop loss is 20 pips, for example, I know it's more than, target 40 pips, target which is TP, take profit, should be 40. Should be 40 pips. All right? That makes sense. So now check. For example, let's say my forecast long. We are long in here. Yeah. So. So that's 19 pips stop. Target 40 pips as a trader on this trade. Minimum of 40 pips, right? So we still have a long way to go. That shows that this market will still go up. Still go up, right? Target 40 pips. Target 40 pips like this. So these are to hit it hard on this trade. All right? Okay, good. Um, that's an entry. So talking about exit, you can either exit in two ways. I just finished talking about entry now. Entry is done. Now we're talking about exit. There are two ways you can do an exit. You can either exit based on the candlestick rejections. Because anytime you see, I told you guys a while ago that candlestick have a lot of information to tell you. In fact, it is the best way to analyze charts. Anytime you see multiple weak rejection, like for example, if you were selling before here, you start seeing weak rejection. One, two, three. Weak. It start, it start giving a weak. Market still keep going up. It should, it's telling you that this is a point that I cannot pass. I'm tired. That point is strong. There's a lot of buyers at this point. That's what this is telling you. So for sellers, should have exited because candlestick told them to exit. Then immediately they had exited. You see how fast started going up now. Okay. So one way to exit is candlestick rejection. Another way to exit is using levels. If price gets to a particular level, like psychological level, low, um, low of the week, or maybe a support zone, you should run. For example, immediately price gets to this level. What happened? 
you just touch on it with two three weeks suggestion and it made, it started going up if you are selling before once you see a level like this run you get so the two levels that can diverge right here i think that's enough information so we have by entry uh we've talked about entry we talked about exit now talking about joining the mentorship which is one of the easiest thing you can even do right now is come to firepipfx.com right and click on firepips and just scroll up there's a free class you can click on join free class in order for you to enjoy the free class which is basic stuff which i always teach you guys here on 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 on, on youtube and then you can just click on enroll now if you want to be a part of the mentorship just sign up answer a few questions and you're in so the mentorship plan that are available for you we have the monthly plan which is 49 dollars. these are the things you would get full access to training videos access to beginner and advanced live class free trading signal that's a bonus if anytime i'm trading i get to send it to the free guy i also get to send it to you guys anytime raymond swing ray swing is also trading you send sham also do send so then we have help and support you can always start in the group we have community manager that is there to guide you and to teach you what to do we also do have private community and also do have evening classes for onboarding new students so you can't be missing in this mentorship so we have the three months for nine nine dollars and then you have 225 dollars for the six month plan which is one of the most that's the most popular right now and then we have the top plan which is one year 399 dollars here you have everything everything you get to have certificates once you are done and then we also make sure you pass your prop firm account we teach you we give you a test which you must pass on all of these packages so which one do i recommend you to join you would ask me i recommend you to join this most popular because people everybody can be wrong for them to be choosing this one goes to show you a lot of story that yes six months you can actually grab this skill six months to one year you can grab it even three months two is also not bad all right but if you're coming in for one month maybe you just want to test how the community work that works that would also be a great thing to you i mean you can also ask people who are also in the mentorship ask them how their experiences have been then that might convince you the more all right so if who can join this free class that's the next question you ask can i start from the free class before i advance to the paid one yes free class are for those who are new 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 that want to start any 50 dollars a month with what we've taught here it's going to be any 50 dollars but if you want to take it a step further and start any more then you can go to the mentorship the main mentorship all right so this free class will add, will give you opportunity to be able to learn what is forex the tools you need what is blood size what is bid price what is ask price all these kind of things basic, basic things that's what you would learn and what is candlestick too all these courses too are the back end on our mentorship all right so that is what i can share so in today's trade please kindly have a buy focus anytime price come back again to somewhere around this zone we'll be looking forward to going long i hope you guys enjoyed today's class as much as i enjoy making this video for you and the team here at the office uh, thank you for sticking around from the beginning to the end. If you have questions, please kindly send those questions to our support team. You want to call us up, that's 0700-347-3747. 0700-347-3747. So you can call us up. The customer team will take up any question that you have regarding forest trading up. And we're also looking forward to improving. If there's anything at all that you want us to improve on, you can always drop us an email at admin at firepipfx.com or support at firepipfx.com from there we'll be able to take up your complaints and then we'll always get to improve on it so we have our timetable that is currently tailored towards all the continents if you're in united states we have our timetable is meant for you if you're in nigeria if you're in anywhere around whether in africa in asia in europe in australia we have our timetable that is also tailored to fit suit you now here's a new feature we are bringing on this year 2024 if you're in firepip mentorship if by any chance you're in Lagos, Nigeria, you can stop by our office here and then our community manager right here at the office will be able to attend to you and teach you one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you just need someone to teach you something, just to show you something on MT4. So just a little guide. I know how important smaller guides like this can really mean a lot to people. If you just need somebody to teach you, okay, this is how to buy, this is how to sell, this is how to do this, how to do that, don't worry. Head straight to the office at Road 25, Ikota Villa. I'll just put on your Google, Firepip FX office. It's very popular right now. A lot of people are visiting us. And in fact, there are people right now downstairs that are currently having the service. All you need to do, you don't have to pay extra money. Make sure your subscription is active with us. If your subscription is active, like what I just showed you now, you can come to the Fire People office. You can get to meet with other fellow traders right here. They get to teach you, show you one or two things that you need to know at the hub. All right. So if there's any other, is there any other question on, on YouTube that you want us to really attend to? Is there any other question on YouTube? 
There's a YouTube question on YouTube. Okay, let's take let's take some. They asking what? Okay, someone is asking about USDT payment. What's the answer to that? Okay, that will be available about two weeks time. Not yet. We don't have that right now. Okay, that will be available. USDT payments will be available. Please kindly explore other options that we have. All cards are working. Or you can just come to the office and make payments with that if that works for you. But if you're not in Nigeria, please explore other options like using your card, like MasterCard or Visa card, any other one. So don't worry. Now I'm back on the chat. You no, know, I've been organizing FME Forex Millionaire Expo. That's why I've not really been taking trades. And then the year is just beginning. I actually wanted everything to be a lot more settled. And thank you guys for visiting us during the FX Millionaire Expo. I see that a lot of people were in our booth. And we also did give away some, uh, some, some material. And I did like it that all of you that came, you made this event a success. I hope to see you guys next one. So one thing that you can do again is if you are actually around nigeria you want to join a part of our be a part of our mentor you can actually come to the office stop by and then we all get to get to network from there can i join mentorship without laptop someone is asking yes you can you can join mentorship without your laptop what is most important is you having a phone in the long run you will need a laptop that is the truth in the long run you will need a laptop all right so i feel that that's most of the question uh So please, I want to start trading, but I'm not up to 18 years. You need to open, you need a guardian that will help you to open an, an account. That's all what you just need, all right? But you can start trading. I have people who are young as 16, already having the knowledge, gaining knowledge, all right? And then maybe their mom, they use their mom's account or their dad's account or any of body that they trust around them. Go and start making money. <laughs> it's important you someone who, who you really trust. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, good. So that's that. And this year, we're going to be introducing crypto trading into our system. We're going to be introducing crypto fire, 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 fire. So if you want to learn how to trade crypto, you're welcome to fire crypto. Right? You're going to be introducing crypto. We're also going to be introducing synthetic, synthetic indices. So everything, everything is fully packed here at fire people. So guys, watch out for us. Uh, make sure you're part of the team. Firepeoplefs.com. That's where you should go. You could also ask questions. Stop by the office. Any one of them work. So I'll see you guys. Same time, same place next week. And bye for now, guys. Bye.